Oh, hi, it's Rob. And this is a continuation of the LED strip lighting in the kitchen. Uh, made a couple of changes. One is I did get the mounting tape to uh, mount the strips in the aluminum channels. Um, the stuff that I got is for mounting to the underside of the cabinets. So I put that on the back of this strip. Uh, this should hold plenty. These are not very heavy. Um, I've also changed the wire uh, as I was having a few problems with the wire that I was using for the parallel runs in there. They're a little too thick and a little uh, difficult so I decided to try and find some thinner wire and I have a whole bunch of uh, Cat5e, uh, like a thousand foot roll that I got many many years ago. So uh, I'm going to be stripping this and pulling wires out of that to use on the inside because it's a little bit thinner in the current capabilities of this. I mean, these things are not going to draw a huge amount of current. Now, to give you an example, I've got this section hooked up. This is 13 inches, so roughly a foot, a little over a foot. And we'll see how much current that this draws with this one foot segment. Whoops. That's about 150 milliamps, a little bit more. And that's not a whole lot, uh, which means that the total draw on this this entire installation is going to be less than 10 amps. Um, it'll probably be around six, I think. I want to make sure that I get a power supply that's going to be capable of running that, but uh, I do want to be careful and make sure that I'm not overpowering these. But you can see there is a significant amount of current across these when you start getting into the, or a significant amount of current draw when you get into longer lengths. Also bear in mind that that's running these at full brightness. I don't know that these are going to be on full brightness all the time. So uh, the current capabilities are not entirely too much, but I will probably start off with a 10 amp power supply. I'll do the full calculation a little bit later, but that's roughly in the area I think we're gonna need to go. I have managed to get all of these wired. Uh, one thing that I decided um, a little earlier was that I really didn't need the duplicate wires running on the inside because for the length that these are, the voltage drop from one end to the other is going to be so minimal that I don't think I need it. And it was a lot more difficult than I really wanted to. I just wanted to show you what the inside looks like when it is all put together. And uh, these took me quite a few hours to do. I was surprised at how long it took, but I did have to do quite a bit of soldering. Anyway, it's time to put these together, or put this last one together, and uh, get to mountain. This is just a quick test of the individual pieces. This is the long side. And this is what it's like from inside the kitchen. And it is a little bright if you get down too far, but it's not too bad. This is the piece just to the right side of the stove. I kind of like this. Uh, it's not as bright as I thought it would be, which is a little disappointing, but not, not too worried about it. 
Now there will be a microwave over here. That's a pretty good size, so it won't be quite as bright. But, you know, live and learn. Now here's the front side, the uh, lake facing side. And we'll do it now with the overhead light on. And, you know, I think that's pretty decent. I think with all of them connected together and on, that's going to end up looking pretty nice. <laughs>